almost 90 years ago. When I grew up in Canada, there were no theoretical chemists in Canada. I didn't even think in terms of theoretical chemistry. Of course, we had some courses in college that made use of theoretical chemistry, the structure of the atom, for example. But we never knew a theoretical chemist. There were absolutely none in Canada at that time, in the 1940s, early 1940s. And so all of us who went into chemistry naturally went into experiments, into the laboratory. There was no theoretical chemistry in Canada. So that's what I did. Received my PhD, went on for a postdoctoral, again doing experiments, again in rates of reaction, but now totally different. Reactions in the gas phase instead of reactions in solution. But after a while, I became unhappy. I had taken quite a bit of courses in mathematics, loved them, but I wasn't finding any use for it in what I was doing in the laboratory. So I really became unhappy. I know what it is like to be unhappy. And then a friend of mine and I, he and I both graduated, got our PhDs at the same time, probably felt the same way because he and I started a two-man course, each one teaching the other. We would find various theoretical papers and then we would describe them to the other with a blackboard trying to understand something about theoretical chemistry. And I thought that was great. Then I thought, well, I'm not happy. I love doing experiments, but I'm not finding the use at that time, it's changed now, of mathematics to speak of. And I decided I would apply for a second postdoctoral. Normally, in those days, you at most applied for one postdoctoral. Apply for a second postdoctoral and see if I could get a postdoctoral in theoretical chemistry. And of the six people that I wrote, only one of them said yes, that if he could get a certain kind of research grant, I could come down and work for him. He got the research grant. I went down on the second postdoctoral, University of North Carolina. And the difference was like night and day. I was unhappy, really unhappy, what I was doing, even though I liked experiment, because I wasn't able to do what I liked the most. But here, being exposed to all of this work in physics and mathematics and theory, chemistry, was just a glorious, almost, revelation. Happiest time. I've never looked back since. But you see, it's a combination of things. One, in this case, the route was a very indirect route. Nowadays, people go into theory if they want to go into theory right away. But it was a very indirect route. And it depended on luck, too. Because if that particular individual had not said yes, I wouldn't have had an opportunity to try theoretical chemistry. So part of it is the drives within one that move one in a certain direction. And part of it is the luck of the situation that opportunities may open up, that you may be able to use those opportunities and try to realize the dreams you have in, in what you're interested in. With profound gratitude, we thank you very much on behalf of Tumkur University staff and my dear colleagues, all of us joined together in thanking you. And we earnestly request you to make time and visit us whenever you are free. And we will be too happy to host you and listen to your lectures. Thank you very much. It is a very great day. Joyous occasion, momentous occasion for all of us, Professor. Once again, I thank you profusely for taking time off.
thank one and all of you for listening to the lecture thank you very much <laughs>